You remember the other day when I said that my camera just wouldn't work and the SD card I thought was just terrible because it corrupted all my footage? Well, I've actually got something here which I'm hoping is a new SD card. New SD card right there. What it is is a 64 gigabyte SD card with a 95 uh, megabits per second like writing speed. So basically I'm hoping it's a faster card and more appropriate for this camera right here. So when I basically record stuff, it doesn't corrupt the footage because that's obviously the worst thing to get when you're trying to film is for footage to corrupt. But yeah, this is the this is the card right there. So I am going to just quickly open it up. And we have the uh, card inside. I'm going to pop it into the camera and then I'm going to swap to this camera in a second when um, when I figured out how to get into this thing. I'm hoping it's a good SD card because basically, um, you know, spending money on one that's meant to be a good one. So it's called SanDisk Extreme Pro. I've had SanDisk SD cards before. They'd never let me down, um, to my knowledge anyway. So the one I had previously was 256 gigabyte SD card, but a bit of a cheaper one. Um, with an 80 megabits per second writing speed, 90 megabits per second reading speed. I'm assuming this is megabits for, I don't know, I'm going to pop this in the camera anyway. I'm going to hope it works, because if it doesn't work I'm going to be quite annoyed. Uh, and then this sand disc can just go in my drawer and it can stay there. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I hope that this SD card is going to work and nothing corrupts. But second of all, I really wanted to talk about something which really affects a lot of people here on YouTube and I'm not going to pretend like I know everything about it, but it's still something that's like basically going to ruin a lot of things. So basically, I'm talking about Article 13. All of you have probably already heard about the, the news that the fact that Article 13 has passed. What does this actually mean for a lot of people here on YouTube? Basically, the EU wanted to... Uh, passed this law which is article 13 which is to do with copyright is to do with an extreme version of copyright basically so in my understanding of it and again I could be wrong in certain bits but basically the overall thing of it is that you had artists who wanted to have everything to do with their intellectual properties so musicians wanted a hundred percent of the copyright towards their music Film directors wanted 100% of the copyright towards their films, etc, etc. What that means is that you're not allowed to use anything at all from a film that comes under this or a piece of music that comes under this or sound effects or anything at all. So as an example, um, a lot of people have been talking about the side of memes. So they're worried that like, this could kill off memes for instance because memes, you could have one from like a still image from a film and this film might have 100% copyright to it under the agreement of article 13 meaning that if you use even just one still frame of it or even if you mention it then this person could A, take a video down or B, even like go straight to YouTube and not even blame you as the YouTube creator but they could blame YouTube as the company because article 13 basically says that the company or the whatever you want to call it the online entity so YouTube Twitter Facebook the website basically they have the rights to whatever you post so let's go to YouTube and let's say that I post up a video and in this video I put in a sound effect of a whoosh or I put in a sound effect of a clap or just something like that I can't do that because I don't have the copyrights to sounds that I can find on the internet unless I pay for that sound effect. Some people do I believe in their videos but a lot of people can just find them for free so it's obviously a lot cheaper to do it that way. Same thing for YouTube, obviously if you use a piece of music on your video and I've used music in a lot of my videos, that music if it's under the copyrighted article 13 law then that video could be striked and taken down, but it also means that that person can go to a court over it. It means that YouTube could be in a lot of crap over it. Well, this causes a lot of controversy between the EU and America because obviously YouTube's an American company. So what's potentially going to happen is that YouTube's going to say, well, this is too big of a risk. We can't take the risk of these people in the EU and the EU countries 
to upload something that may like you know clash with something that we want to upload here in America so they're going to put a big block on basically anything that the Americans can see in Europe and anything the Europeans can see in America in a nutshell that's basically what it is there's a potential big block coming where you're if you're in America and you think this doesn't affect you it does because your European viewers aren't going to be able to see your videos you as an American viewer are not going to be able to see your European favorite youtubers if you're a fan of KSI if you're a fan of grade A under a if you're a fan of any of these other big YouTubers who are from the UK or from any of the other EU countries, this is literally almost every country within Europe, then you're not going to be able to see their content. And these guys aren't going to be able to see your content. It's like a big wall is going to be put in between these two places and you it's like two different sides of the internet at this point. That will mean that things like YouTube and Twitter and stuff are just going to be divided and it means that audiences aren't going to be as big and obviously YouTube's gonna suffer because of it and YouTubers will suffer because of this as well. From what I've seen, there were millions of people who petitioned against this to say we don't want Article 13 like to be passed. We don't want Article 13. We like the internet as it is. We like the freedom we have on that internet. But now Article 13 has been passed because of like 200 votes or something or 300 votes from the EU government. And because they say that Article 13 has passed, that means that Article 13 has passed, therefore it's coming in, it's going to take a couple of years for it to roll in. But if it rolls in at the moment with the description that it has, it's really going to put a big like halt to everything on YouTube. It's going to stop a lot of things, it's going to really like take things back like 10 years. So yeah, it's a really interesting topic, there's still a lot more I need to learn about it properly, but I just really wanted to voice my concerns on it. Like I said, I don't know everything about it either. But it's definitely something that's scary and it's something that as a YouTuber I need to address. It's something that as a viewer you guys need to really uh, just understand the whole process of it and like what potentially might happen within the next couple of years with Article 13 passing. If there's any updates on the Article 13 issue I'll be sure to make a video on it or at least include it into one of my videos. If there's another petition that goes on to revert Article 13, like I'm sure there probably already is at this point, but if there is one that I see, I could probably put it into a link in my video or something, at least get another extra couple of people involved or something, because I completely just disagree with the whole Article 13 thing. And by the way, the people in the UK who believe that, like, because we're leaving the EU, uh, literally in, like, tomorrow, I think, or in two days, sorry, in two days we're leaving the EU, or we're going to start the process of leaving the EU. That's going to take like another couple of years, I believe, until we're completely left. But even after that point, we're still going to be stuck with this Article 13 rule, because I believe something to do with like, the EU, we're not leaving them properly, but we're still keeping like, the rules or something. I don't know, it's a very big misunderstood, like... Thing altogether with the EU and I don't even understand it myself as a British citizen I don't even understand like the EU and Brexit and all this but either way this article 13 business affects everybody and it's bad news I think what annoyed a lot of people was the fact that the people who voted for article 13 to be passed are people who are very um, out of touch with the internet people who are a little bit of the older generation 50 year old politicians or whoever it is in the EU who decides whatever these laws are um, there was like the difference of like 10 votes or something stupid like that between them but the people who decided to vote for uh, article 13 to be passed these are people who don't understand the internet these are people who don't realize what they're doing but they just want copyright to be at a very extreme level and like I said People are worried about this affecting memes and things. I think they did describe memes will be safe. Memes, um, things like pastiche, parody, uh, a few other bits and bobs like that, they will allow to pass. But when it comes to something like YouTube, it's such a big platform, I just don't see how they're going to be able to work around it. Anyway, that's about all I have to say on that particular topic. My camera is about to run out of battery. It's a bit of a shorter episode today, but I just really wanted to sit down and talk about that because it is a bit worrying. Uh, that this is happening because it really could fuck with a lot of people's like livelihood there's a lot of people here on youtube who you know who's it's their job you know there's there's thousands of people across the world who work on youtube whose job it is solely to be a youtuber this could really mess up a lot of those people so uh if you're one of those people and you're watching this maybe start saving up your money um especially for smaller youtubers it's probably going to be really difficult now 
more than ever to, to try and grow an audience. But we'll see how this goes anyway. We'll see how Article 13 and the whole business develops. Hopefully YouTube will find a way to go around this so they don't have to put this big block in between like two main continents. Anyway, I'm gonna leave the video there before my camera runs out of battery. Thank you so much for watching the video. And as always, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.